they just can't buy anything but pistols. They don't have a choice. That's the, uh, do we call this the pistol round? As we're going to see a drop in from three members here from DEFCON working down the stairwell where they will see wreck everything being picked up by comms, putting that Jesper to use. The main attack swooping in towards the hallway. Comms and Crimson on the backside just working some picks into the window as I'm missing the action. Register is going to get the first one, but quickly traded out by Durday. Now it's on down to Budgie and Atomic Dog. Atomic Dog, of course, going to be finding the kill on the Crimson. 2v3 now. The wall getting blown onto A. Budgie here on the flank to the bathroom. He's going to get the headshot on Dakota and drops him. Atomic Dog now pushing in the front side. He's going to deny the plant. And now it's a two versus one. It's all down to Durde, who's in the bathroom, trying to clear up Budgie on the flank. Two minutes left on the clock. Plenty of time to work with. But the first match already starting off with a bang. This is going to have to be the 1v2 clutch by Durde. Atomic Dog peeking his head over the counter and getting scooped up. Still with 70 points of health and Budgie only with 4 points of health left. And he's got the syringe. A minute and 30 left on the clock. Struggling to find the syringe. Oh, where is he going to find the timing while the bug the syringe is bugging out? That would be so unfortunate, but he is looking the right direction. I don't think he spotted him in the bathroom. He's going to go for the plant here. This is an opportunity for Budgie. He seems to be aware. I don't see any pings coming out, but he seems very aware that this blank is on. And Budgie, of course, peeking right into the crosshair, and that's going to be our foul third day from Rainfall. Clutching out the first round with a nice little 1v2 there. What we'll do here is they are actually, even though they won the round, they're buying into just pistols. We're going to see door blocker getting pinged out here. They're buying, they're saving into just pistols so that they can buy the fully meta kitted out Vezin rifles. The $2,900 rifle. At one shots at a pretty decent range and has a very nice rate of fire atomic looks like we had a, a push in through the window they're pushing into the screen run and atomic dog is going to pick up two defcon getting off to a really nice start here now all three remaining members from rainfall look like they're shifting around the other side of the hallway while crimson is just picking up the flank let's go on board with coda here as coda gets into a bit of a fight down the hallway taking some chip damage and perhaps Making me eat my words as DEFCON choosing not to save this round, but now having a solid gun advantage going into this round. Maybe predicting that Rainfall was going to save those pistols like a lot of teams do. And perhaps choosing to punish them by investing into these omens. Bit of a high risk, high reward here. That will just about guarantee them the second round if they can keep things going the way they are. We see Crimson working his way up the staircase. It's going to get a peek on Bada Boom, who just backed up just in the nick of time to avoid this peek here. Bada Boom here on the defense. Looking around that corner with the omen in hand, has backup down the hallway as Budgie firing over his shoulder. And it's a firing squad as he just spams that whole clip around the corner here. And it looks like Coda and the Cracker are going to want to back up into that hallway. Two versus five now. They're hoping for a little bit of overaggression as he gets it. Coda finds the first one. Second one picked up by the cracker. Oh, but the nade and wreck everything coming in with a nice follow up is going to seal the deal for Defcon, tying us up one to one here. We're going to see a quick breach here. Oh, quick headshot there from Registre as he was just perfectly prepared for the window that the rainfall was deciding to breach through. And that slows them right down in their tracks. Palms is going to be picking up Rex everything over on the other side. And they're just chilling. They're chilling here. Crimson trying to work his way in. And the rest of his team holding the courtyard. He's trying to punish some aggression as Drew Cracker does exactly that. But getting picked off from the back as he doesn't quite make it back around the corner. And it's going to be... All down to Budgie and Badam as the trades come in, but not quite fully in their favor. Both of these defending members tucked into this B-bomb site now. So where will the attack come from? It looks like the proximity sensor is giving them away. Crimson here to defend out the window. Gets the kill onto Budgie. Now it's just bada boom. I was calling him Badam, I just realized. It's bada boom. 
1v3. See if we can get some bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. And his head gets spotted just over the couch. And that's going to be comms. So just save. Just go throw this round away. Use your pistols. Save up some money for the next round. So that on the next round, you can fully buy in to... See where this attack is coming in through the screen room again. You can fully buy into those vessels and put yourself at a better chance of actually winning the round as opposed to getting caught force buying and having scrappy buys for the rest of the half. Of course, once we hit the second half, the economy will reset and we'll be back into a pistol round. So there's two members here to defend Atomic. Looking to hold the other side. A nade comes through. He spots the guy. Spotting the cracker there, passing the nade, and it's going to be Durde pushing in but getting caught in the crossfire. Registry want to get another people crimson. Fighting back. Finds one. Finding a bunch of damage on Direct, who gets picked up by comms on the other side and registrate now. Mining Coda and the 2v2. It's just a cracker and comms. So this force is actually working out pretty well for DEFCON. They've got it down to a 2v2. Reigning players do have omens in hand. Need Budgie here. With a nice flank. Will he find the timing? The crack around the corner, but comms ready. And it's all down to about a boom in 1v2. Once again. Bada boom the clutch. See if we can get a little bit about a bing bada boom this round. And I'm coming through the wall. Moment in hand. See a little bit of the nerves. Maybe a hand shaking just a tiny bit here. As he feels the pressure now. Two remaining members of Rainfall looking like they're going to push in together bombs with the emp in hand it's gonna be the fight the wall gets blown behind him he's got in a bit of a tough position but oh and the plant is going down he gets the first pick and he just not looking the correct way unfortunate there chance to win both rounds i think maybe we save on round four and then you buy round five and force on round six if you have to we're going to see another hallway breaches three members working down this stairway Maybe looking to take control of these hatches. Oh, I missed the action. There's Dirt Day picks up registry. Sorry, wrong button. Still working on the camera work here. Once again, running into the same door blocker setup. Crimson here on the outside. Palms working in with the active camo. I quickly dispose. It is a hatch play. If Crimson goes down, now where is Comms? Here he is. Tom's now left alone here in this lounge room by the vending machines. Coda gonna find the hallway pick onto Atomic Dog just as Rex crosses the doorway. Tom turned just a second to react to the kill in the hallway and Rex everything finding the perfect time to cross over that doorway. Gonna pop his syringe once again. It's the cracker here to back him up. Looking into this B bomb site, comms is gonna find Rex everything, and now it's Budgie to defend. Shots going back and forth into Cracker, looking to get aggressive here. Budgie with the omen running out of ammo is unfortunate, and once again, as if the deja vu, it's bada boom left to clutch. This time in a one versus four, EMP is getting planted. Here's the footstep behind him, realizes that Coda is working his way, and nobody turns. Doesn't quite find it. It's the snapshot from Coda to shut it down and on the attack for them as we move into our sixth and final round. Durde going to be picking up the first quick very quickly. Breaking that door blocker. Rimson and comms here going to be working in to the screen room. Just Damn round, bada boom there with the shotgun on the other side of the screen and Crimson in the perfect position to defend. He's gonna toss a nade in. There's no way to back up now for bada boom and pop between a rock and a hard place as the crunch comes in from the rest of the team. You got Coda peeking down the hallway. Registry manages to find two there with the, with the RCP. And that brings us to a two versus three. Is Atomic Dog here to defend. Finds the first one. Is it gonna be able to deny the plant? Yes, he is. And that brings it down to a 1v1 as the RCP down the hallway was picked up by comms. To active camo. Here's the footstep. Sees the head, finds the head, and it's comms to bring his team up five to one to seal the deal. The first deciding not to buy into any utility, just want to be able to give themselves the maximum chance 
to buy some kitted pheasants, I believe, on the second round. And we'll see. Time will tell. I'm gonna have to win the pistol first. It all comes down to the pistol. Breaking a couple different entryways here. Oh, third person, what am I doing with the camera? Coda was pinged out. I believe they spotted him there behind the window, but they, they have the angle. Looks like they don't. They're going to take their time here on the roof. This is something we see a lot of teams do. Have a little bit of patience. You've got three minutes to work with. You don't necessarily have to force the issue right away. We're going to see a couple members move down the staircase here. They're going to be meeting with a door blocker, and it's going to be... Oops, sorry. Wrong team here. Registray working his way in. Crimson finds Rex everything. He's that's what I was trying to get on board with, but Crimson also finding bada boom, so Defcom not having a strong start. They are finally gonna get their opening pick onto Dirt Day. A little bit of damage traded back and forth, and it's a 3v4 now. As you see, Registray working his way in through the vents while Atomic Dog and Budgie are wrapping around this back hallway. Is registry he has EMP in hand, so it looks like he's gonna play it safe, perhaps wisely. Deep down the hallway from Coda. He's gonna find Atomic Dog. Looking for Budgie. He's gonna find Budgie as well. Budgie wants to hot you. Too many angles for Budgie to look with. This now it's all down to registry. Finds the first one. Looking for the second. He can't quite do it. And that's map point for rainfall going up six to one an interview let's sit in the crowd and ask him coda how do you feel about your first casted brml batch here who's your favorite caster wow that's cold he just walked away anyway moving back into the action it's like it's gonna be a courtyard play here four members of rainfall in the courtyard just atomic dog over there in the, oh, right here he does meet up with his team quickly in the hallway three members now Pushing their way forward. They're going to spot Coda down the hallway. A little bit of damage traded out, but Coda's going to safely be able to back up. Three syringes in hand now for the defenders. And it looks like they're going to try and double swing the hallway from both sides as Crimson tries to get a nade out. And it, unfortunately, the nade does not make it around the corner and he gets blown up. Very unfortunate there as Rainfall start to find a little bit, but third day in the hallway. Trades out Budgie. Now let's go on board with the flank as Bada Boom and Rex everything are gonna have to break this door blocker to come around this left side and meet up with their two teammates. Now on the other side, it is Dur Day to defend. Looks like we are seeing a shift over towards Dur Day. Third day is the only one here on the A bomb site. He's only got 33 points of health. Hopefully, calls for his teammates to rotate as the enemy team has worked their way right into the bomb site. No holds back. And now it's all down to comms. Fcon finally looking. Oh, and comms not going to be looking the right way, and that's going to be Defcom putting up their second round. Going down. Perhaps a couple proximity sensors I'm not seeing. Probably another trip mine if I had to guess. I don't see any electrostatic field emitters. It's gonna be round nine here. Defcon back against the wall as comms opens things up quickly for his team, finding two quick picks as they try to vault into the radio room. Bit of a spread out offense. You got Bada Boom and Budgie working their way in on the bottom floor. A connect up in the bathrooms where meanwhile Wreck Everything has worked his way down through the server room on the top floor with that active camo it's been comms with two already and it looks like rex everything wants to get comms off of the playing field comms perhaps not looking the correct way is rex everything gonna get there in time does find the time he gets a little bit of chip damage but Giving his way his position now. But it's Bada Boom and Budgie working up the staircase. Comms caught between a rock and a hard place, but Crimson there to back him up, peeking through that door blocker. Wonder if Bada Boom saw the head come through the door blocker. He did, but not realizing Comms was tucked into the corner. Comms gonna have to fight his way out, and it's gonna be Budgie 
Coming out on top of that one now, it's Coda and Crimson. As Crimson does drop to Budgie, who breaks the door blocker as well. Now just Coda with a Spectral in hand, but it's all down to Budgie in a 1v3 to do this. Four Defcon. Backs against the wall. It's map point for Rainfall. He has to win this to keep them alive and here on map one. Gonna make sure nobody's sweeping up from behind him down from downstairs. If he is down here at the top of the stairs, but there's a nice crossfire set up. Coda is going to be the first one to peek, and he is going to be able to do it. DeCraca was there to back him up, and that's going to be map one going the way of rainfall. We're going to have the bottom floor spawn for the bombs. There's Crimson over here doing a little dance, making a little love, getting down tonight. You better be ready to get down into this first round, as it's going to be Coda with the drone. Droning in. The wall gets blown immediately. Shots coming through from Ripper. Registray tossing a nade and getting pinged out from the drone. Where is the follow-up, though? Yep, we are going to see comms try to push in and follow that up, but getting dropped by Registray with that cyclone, putting that thing to work. Spamming through the smoke. 4v5, but the damage is done. Two members of Rainfall backing up because they are just... Down to 32 and 29 points of health, respectively. And I don't see any healing syringes in the hands of Rainfall, so they're not going to be able to heal that back up. So oh, let me just go ahead and side swap here because it is Defcon on the defense as Dirt Day finds a blender in the background. They're straight in a nice spot. That wall is not blown, so it's going to be bada boom picking up. I'm sorry, getting picked up by the cracker. And now 4v3, but the health bars on every single member of Rainfall took in a good bit of damage. I see you. Yep. Registrate and Atomic Dog both finding one and with a nice little 180 flick. Registrate finding two. Those of you who don't know, the proximity sensor is a piece of utility that creates an alarm, making a very loud sound and also pinging the team through the wall, letting them know right where the attackers are coming through as things are getting started right away as Coda gets chunked down for 75 damage just for breaking the door. Comps over here peeking through the window. Jesper in hand, but Ripper has wisely backed up into that A bomb site. Damage has been dealt, and once again, no syringes in the hands of anyone on Team Rainfall, so Coda is going to be stuck. 25 points of health. Unless they can kill and pick up a syringe from someone on the other team. Working their way in, Coda is going to get picked up by Registre. Crimson coming through from the bottom floor. The Crackers worked his way up the staircase. And once again, I like this. I like this play from the defenders, Defcon. Showing some uh, very much improvement from their initial defense. Getting a kill and then immediately falling back to meet up with the teammates. Not overextending and making it nigh impossible for the team to trade that kill out. Giving them the man advantage. And also not giving up any of the guns. You see all four remaining members of Rainfall with pistols in hand here. You don't want to give them a kill and allow them to pick up any of your rifles or SMGs. It's going to be Ripper to defend here on A. Looks like this is the focus for Team Rainfall. Crimson holding down the flank. Ripper, finding the first one in comms, finally getting the courage to peek through that doorway. And on Dirty, getting aggressive through the shower, finding a bunch of damage onto an unsuspecting blender. Registrate does get aggressive on the flank, finally picking up Crimson, and now it's a five versus two. Go on board with the Cracker, trying to hold the staircase while Dirty. Rotates back around. Erda is going to be pushing in and foaming the wall. Red straight peeking around the left side. The Cracker not in a position to trade. Just barely spotting the head of Registre. It's going to have to be the one versus five ace clutch to get back into the round. Not going to get past the first two as well. it's... The well-placed defense. Last time they chose to pressure in from the B side. 
let's go on board with Coda here. So they are pushing their way in through Wine Cellar. They're going to very quickly realize there's some static field to manage them to get through. There's Dirt Day pushing through this hallway. Nade in hand. Looks like he's talking. Oh, he's aware. Oh, and just unfortunately, Blender just trying to pick up that nade. I don't believe you can pick up enemy grenades in this game. But Atomic Dog getting aggressive down the staircase. Going to find the trade onto the Cracker and finding a good bit of damage onto Dirt Day there as well. Now it's Registray and Ripper both here to defend in the A bomb site. Another wall getting blown. Looks like they want to. I'm sorry, another nade getting pushed down. Registrate getting aggressive and finding one in the hallway and pushing right into the arcade, finding a second headshot onto Dirt Day, but Coda finally able to trade him out. And now it's Atomic Dog's turn. He says, let me get in on this action. Yeah, over here having all the fun without me. Accidental firing of his gun is going to give away his position. Ripper going to be pick up Crimson. Now it's just Coda in a 1v3. He's going to find the first one. Now it's a 1 versus 2. Rainfall want to get their first round on the board. Coda's going to have to do a little bit of work. Accidentally swapping the syringe out for the for the one with a longer cooldown. Very minor mistake, but likely to make a difference. Finds the first one and almost gets the second with the lineup, but bada boom. And how many syringes you can take from the next wrap? Well, there is. It's limited to two per person. So the limit is 10. Being that only one person survived there in that round... They're only able to bring two syringes at most with them into this next round here. So two syringes to work with. Registry in a nice position behind the bedroom, but it's Atomic Dog to find it down the hallway. The Cracker also finding a bit of an angry DEFCON defending. Not oh, a little bit of a nade toss. Going to get, unfortunately, find its way into the corner. And Registry had repositioned over by the couch. Just going to find a Cracker there. Now it's just Crimson. Looking through that skylight, you've got comms and Dirt Day. And now you're in a bit of a tough spot. Three versus five. Two Vezins in hand, though, but I think they are wisely hoping to catch a little bit of overaggression from the defenders. Comms finding a bit of chip damage on Blender, but with just, that's healing his syringe in hand. He's going to quickly... Heal himself back up. Dirt Day now. Getting aggressive. Finding the peak on the Registray. Trading damage. Getting a lot of damage in, but immediately healing up his Registray as he backs into that B bomb site. Dirt Day also going to pop his stim. And now it's... Where's Crimson? Working his way in and then getting a headshot there by Registray. A nice little headshot. Now it's just comms and Dirt Day in a two versus five. It's looking like this dominant streak continues here for DEFCON. So after losing... Skyscraper, 7-2. to two. They're really putting on a show, getting off to a nice lead here in the first half of Hideout. Looks like we might be seeing a save. Nope, Dirt Day still wants to peek in. Proximity Sensor going to give his position away, and he's swinging in. I wonder if that was a misclick. Perhaps not, as you see comms also dropping into the circus. Looks like the call is made. They're going to go for this. Oh, finding the headshot on the Atomic Dog, but the Vezin versus the Omen is a tough fight to win without getting the drop on your opponent. And now it is Dirt Day in a one versus five ace clutch situation. Proximity sensor going off. Position revealed to all five of the opponents. Will we see the collapse? Wisely decides to quickly rotate over to this A bomb site, but he's got a door blocker to contend with. Unfortunate. Like grabbing a water. Now with just five seconds remaining, you have to imagine Dirty wants to get the save, but Atomic Dog looking to shut it down. So he finds a second kill on the round and a third. Nice bit of economic damage there over to the way of Defcon, but Defcon still going to clear the round up and eventually finding the kill onto Dirty. So that got a decent amount of, of buy going. And let's go on board and see where the attack is coming in. We've got 
Front door being quickly broken. I like this. This cuts off a lot of the rotations for the defenders. Garage door also being broken. Comms with the active camo. Grimson over there was in a bit of a fight through the A window. He is going to escape with his life as Durde finds some shots through the piano room. Nade from registry down the stairs as well. Shots coming through the B, the A wall there. I believe that was Blender spamming through the wall. And Coda with the EMP. And a little bit of a peek in through the window. Does he spot the trip mine? He does not look like he spotted it. He's going to vault in on top of it and take a lot of damage there. And look at that. Three members of Rainfall just absolutely taking a brutal amount of damage as the fight looks like it's going to happen over here on the garage side. Coda taking some more damage through the window. Let's go on board. It looks like there was an aggressive peek through the door blocker because that door blocker is still up. Crimson going to foam up the wall onto B. And perhaps Coda's fight on the other side was all just a diversion as Durde is going to pick up the first one. Crimson with that active camo. And comms with a nice headshot with the Taurus. They are trying to press the issue here onto B pretty hard. And the rotation is coming in. Ripster. Ripper, excuse me. Coming in with a nice little two piece. Two more remaining. He finds a third. Huge round from Ripper here so far. He's going to find the fourth third day peeking around the corner. Wisely backs up into the garage. It's a 2v3 now and not a lot of health to work with. 25 health spread amongst the two remaining attackers. Meanwhile, all three of these defenders here at full health. As it is going to be the peak and Ripper picks up his fourth. He's on for the ace. Can he do it? One kill remaining, but it's just the Cracker who has managed to get his hands on a healing syringe. So going from six points of health, he should get up to 86 points of health by the time it stops ticking. There you see, that healing has run out. But it's going to have to be the one versus three. He's going to have to get past Ripper. He's already got four kills into the round. Proximity sensor still going off there on the van. Surprising that nobody has caught it yet. And Ripper is going to get the ace as he finds the fifth one on to the cracker. Let's see where the attack is going to be coming in from. Two members stationed up outside the shower. Going to quickly break that shower window. Meanwhile, Coda vaulting in. To the main lobby. Breaking that static field emitter. Ripper popping some shots off. Coda has worked his way up the staircase. With just a spectral in hand. It is a force buy coming out. Obviously a buy. It's the last round. You can't save here. A spot I'm not able to shoot it from under the door blocker. Crimson thinking about getting aggressive here through this window. And that is perhaps gonna change his mind. Almost shaking his head there. As uh the remaining members of Rainfall have worked their way into the lobby, blown the wall, now popping some shots. His blender is going to find Crimson out the window, but it's the attack at the front that's going to have to win them the game. But bada boom, and Atomic Dog with the crunch from the other side, but the Cracker and Durde trading back, making it a competitive round. Now it is a two versus three. Durde getting aggressive into the long side with that omen, making it work this round. Already with seven kills on the board, looking for his eighth here to crack this round open get rainfall their first round of the half first round of the map really cracker peeking through ripper popping some shots through that hole in the wall seems to be a new bug in the game that wasn't there before the syringes just aren't quite working as well as they used to Sure, we'll see a quick fix from Triangle Factory. They've been on the ball with the rest of these patches. Oh, Ripper just barely spotting 
Third day and third day just barely not seeing Ripper peek his head around the corner. 45 seconds left. Spamming through the wall, finding a lot of damage on the Ripper, but not quite able to kill. He survives with just nine points of health. Oh, and somehow he escaped with his life. That healing syringe going off and healing him back up. Finding a headshot on the registry. Finding the second and finding the kill on the blender. That's going to be a one versus one, but with two points of health remaining, and he finds the headshot onto Ripper. Crazy round there from the cracker. They are still down five to one. So they're going to have to have a clean sweep here on the second half on defense in order to win the map. Or as soon as they lose one round, that puts Defcon on six. And at that point, the worst they can do is tie. There's two Defcon now work their way and it's Crimson in the laundry room, tossing a nice little nade. Ripper's gonna be in a tough spot to dodge and that's a lot of damage done, but Crimson's position, oh, not the best flash. Luckily it didn't prime. I'm gonna try that again. Fortunately not making it around the corner and he pushes into the B bomb site while Crimson is tucked in the corner. Ripper with not a lot of health is going to try to clear this laundry room out. The wall gets blown and he's going to look the other way and he's caught between the crossfire is Crimson and that's a man advantage going the way of Defcon. They want to get right to map point. They immediately blow the hatch for all five members of the team are up here and it is Blender peeking through the connector into the boiler. Through the B-bomb site, through the hatch. Wonder if we're gonna see a fast drop through the hatch as a team, or if they're just looking to spot some picks and rotate around. On the defense, you've got comms tucked in behind the parkour. The cracker over on the A-bomb site, and both Coda and Durde in the hallway as they're going to blow the wall now. Where's the best spot to see both sides? The drop's going to come in. Red straight pushing through. Comms finding it from the other side, but he's caught from all sides. As he, that was a beautifully coordinated push. Three members dropping down the hatch. I'm looking the wrong way. Where am I looking here? All down to Dirt A. 1v3. I, I could not decide where to put the camera there. Verde is going to find the planter, but the plant did go down. That's going to give him a little bit of time to deal with this one versus one. Bada boom versus Durde. We've known what Durde can do in the clutch. We've seen it. Nice little 1v3 in the last round. Can he clutch it out once again? Bada boom in a nice spot. He is going to find the headshot on to bada boom. Beautiful clutch there. Rum. Shut down those SMGs. You just got to get that Cadillo out of the hands of Atomic Dog 61. And you are in a great spot to go up to map. Oh, I'm sorry. To stop DEFCON from going up to map point. I do really like the force spy from DEFCON despite losing because it's worked for them in the past and it'll immediately put them on six rounds. Whether or not they can full buy into the next round is irrelevant because going up to six rounds is so valuable as a team. At that point, the worst you can do is tie. Atomic Dog with the Cadillo in hand. Gonna be popping some shots into that door blocker. Once again, a bit of a spread, but most of the members of DEF CON are leaning towards the front side of the house. Atomic Dog getting caught through the stairwell, and that's the EMP down and the rifle down. However, it should be easily recoverable if Ripper does decide to rotate around. Oh, as I say, that Blender has worked his way into the piano room. All five members of Rainfall playing tight. I like this. You got two Vezins to work with. Stick tight on the bomb sites and play together. Oh, but a nice, as I say that, of course, Koda with a nice flank. Finds the kill on the bada, bada boom. And that is going to be a five versus three man advantage for Rainfall. Trying to keep this comeback alive. The cracker now. Finding the first kill on the blender as well. So that's going to be. Five versus two now. Let's go on board with it's just registrate, peeking down the hatch, and Ripper pushing right in with a spectral in hand. Did not want to recover the Cadillo. There it is. Registrate finds the kill on the Crimson, but it's gonna have to be the one versus five ace clutch to, to win this round. 
Finding a lot of damage on to Durde as well. But still, one versus four. A minute left. Chad is registered. He's going to drop in through the hatch, getting a lot of damage, through, but finding the first, but not able to do more than that. And if you haven't cool. already, hit that subscribe button. We got plenty more breachers action coming at you as we move forward. And it looks like we have a disconnect substitution here. Bot Femke subs subbing in for Team Defcom. Remember, Unfortunate disconnect. Yet another reason for them to save this round. Oh, Budgie makes it back, but not in time to sell the oral. Now let's see if he can perhaps make something happen with this. This. Oh. As he just face plants into the wall. <laughs> Getting himself sorted and situated back into virtual reality. It's always different. It's always difficult, like transitioning in between the actual reality and the virtual reality there's too many realities well, there's gonna be a wine push you got ripper working down the stairway as the four remaining members have worked their way into wine they're quickly taking out that door blocker oh coda got aggressive here on the other side i didn't see that aggression coming in as he finds a second one a nice little two-piece and wisely coda choosing to back up and now it's gonna be the front line Blender pushing around, trying to get some more control. Looks like he wants to storm both of these walls, but Coda finding a third. Oh my goodness. Now it's all down to Ripper. Where is my button for Ripper? There it is. One versus five. And the... Just the string of dominance continues. The nade, double peak, everything coming through there. Calm still cleaning it up. Defcon looking to bring us to a map three decider. We will be going to a map three regardless of the results of this map because every round counts in VRML. So the more round wins DEFCON can put on the board, the better. Even if they lose the series, it'll be better for their ELO. We got some pings coming out. I believe that is Ripper with the EMP. Oh, wrong button. Let's see where he's going. Where is my Ripper? Clip the drone as the fights are coming in on that small stairway. Coda. Nice performance from him with eight kills on the board already. The first line of defense here. Trades in. It's a four versus four. Bada boom on the upstairs. Getting picked up by Durde on the roam. And it's Budgie and Blender here coming up the small staircase. Coda's gonna hear them shooting that static field emitter. He knows right where they are. Comms rotating in to back him up, but the oh, the static field emitter, perhaps distracting at the perfect time. Oops, where is Com? Yep, finding Ripper. Oh, it is Coda rotating back around, finding another one. Should have stayed on board with him as he finds a second, looking for his third, but Blender finally shuts him down. Now it's all down to Blender. Once again, in the clutch. See what he can do. He's got a bezin in hand. He's got that healing syringe. He's also got a frag grenade. We've seen it before. The one versus three, definitely doable. back kids when you cross the street you gotta look both ways crimson tech around this corner is gonna find the headshot as blender not able to do it for his team and just like that has been having himself a great game but dirt day with that nice little 1v3 and the cracker 12 and 7 having a really great second half atomic dog put and ripper also putting up some good numbers looks like it's gonna be a fast push in here Quick push. They got a door blocker. The nade's gonna come through. Foaming up the wall. It's 
comms to defend. Quick push in. Blender gets through with the trades are coming in. Oh, nice trade. They're just piling into the bomb site. I like this aggression. Budgie also finding it was atomic dog and crimson dying in the connector and budgie getting aggressive and coda trying to find the flank absolutely beautiful round there either way we're getting this map three decider even if the map is drawn defcon will have a chance to win it and tie the series excuse me rainfall managed to tie this the worst they can do in the series is uh, tie of course i believe they're still going to be playing for the win they're on the third map. Perhaps another similar quick play. We see the nade come in, break the door blocker, and once again, all five members of DEFCON are here. Wonder if they are going to have a similar pile in. This should be comms here to defend. Durde spamming through the table. The fire, another fire nade comes out. That's going to slow down the push. Very great use of the fire grenades. Who is it flanking around the left side? It's Coda. Coda, but getting picked off by Blender there. Oh, the spam through the wall. Crimson finds Budgie and trades it out, but Crimson immediately getting dropped. And the rotation's now coming through. As the push comes in, 2v3 now. Comms to find a second into Cracker to find one on the backside. And now it's all down to Bada Boom. It was looking like such a promising round. La Bada Boom in a 1v2, and he drops to Cracker down to two points of health. Not quite able to seal it. Oh, first round, another banger. Atomic Dog dropping, it's all down to Rex. Everything in a 1v2 once again. We're getting things started off. A stressful pistol. If you can find the headshot on the Crimson, we'll have a good... Still anyone's game. Shake it off. Let's get right back into it. You see them breaking all kinds of windows over here. Vaulting in quickly to that orange staircase side. Rex everything once again. Pushing in. And it's Durday. To defend. Crimson with the shotgun. The cracker holding that assembly side, but it's an orange stairs plate. Where's my button so the wrong people? Oh, that's why. Okay. All four remaining members of DEFCON over here on the orange stairs. Tom McDogs worked his way into the window. Looks like he's gonna foam up the A-wall. A-wall gets blown. Nade coming through to hatch. Into the connector is going to find Durday. That's a beautiful nade. And he's going to be able to get a cheeky little plant here. Yeah, there it is. He found it. As the shot's coming through the connector, the team is here to defend. It's a beautiful attack attacking effort. Crimson with the shotgun. Going to find the first nade coming in from Coda. It's all down to Budgie and Atomic Dog. That EMP did get planted. Atomic Dog peeking through the window. Able to cover from outside. Jiggle peeking here. Getting spotted by comms. Now they know he's here. Have to back up and reload. Budgie choosing to play it from the downstairs. Bombs has worked his way around. And it is going to be the Cracker picking up the kill. And now it's just Budgie to defend. The defuse is coming in. One versus three. He's going to have to make his move. With audio getting spotted out. Doesn't know he's there. And it's going to be comms cleaning it up. Positioning. Cracker with the static field emitter. Where is he going to drop that? He's just going to chuck it over towards the orange side. And now we're going to go on board with Team Defcom. There's actually Atomic Dog. Rex everything has just worked his way in. Atomic Dog with the EMP. Took immediate control of this orange hallway side. All gets blown. Ripper is here. Blowing all the walls onto A. Coda with the nades is going to find Budgie. Atomic Dog does get dropped from the connector. And DEFCON members are dropping like flies to cow pies. As Rex everything manages to win that fight with their day. But it's a 2v4. And Blender looking the wrong way. Unfortunate timing. That's just Rex. Seven points of health. Hucks a flashbang. He really needs to wait for that syringe. Plenty of time on the clock. Ooh, fire nade almost finds the mark. Luckily, the fire does not spread. Really just needs to buy time. That syringe. There is the syringe. Oh. One versus four. Coda, syringe in hand as well. Gonna be able to heal up shortly. 
And it's going to be Crimson with a shotgun to shut it down for Team Rainfall. The cracker. Party with four kills on the board. Taking a look. Another spread attack here as Budgie and Ripper have worked their way in down the orange stairs pretty quickly. Budgie got that Cadillo in hand. It's going to be Rex everything to find the first pick. The Cracker with a nice little two-piece over on the assembly side. Absolutely, it looks like they did drop down Atomic Dog now here trying to recover that EMP, but it is Budgie and Ripper with control of the A bomb site, which doesn't give you much without the EMP. Gonna have to move back and connect up with Atomic Dog to recover that. And look at this positioning from Crimson. Crimson in the perfect position to absolutely cut them off. With the two piece, we're shutting it down. Rainfall up 4 0. Gonna be the death ball five man push into the assembly side. We've seen it work for them before. They're gonna pile up, work together, and throw everything but the kitchen sink into this electric side of the map. They are gonna choose to foam up this wall. Nice little breach towards the A bomb site, but that's going to give away their positioning. Now, Blender, foaming up another wall. Door blocker getting broken. Budgie with the EMP wrapping around. Comms and Durde here to defend. Where is he going with that? And the push comes in onto the A bomb site. Coda in the back line. Oh, trades come through nicely. It's all down to just Kraken now. And Defcon finally finding some success as Kraken would. Eight points of health, stuck between a rock and a hard place, doesn't know what to do. He's just gonna decide to back out. I'm sure why he hasn't used that syringe yet. There he does pop the syringe. He's gonna bring him back from eight points of health to 88. If it heals him all the way. And he's gonna go for the quick flank, one versus three. Looks like he is interested. He's rather not interested in a save. And he wants to bring the fight to DEFCOM, keep this momentum going for his team we've seen him in the clutch before really nice 1v3 on hideout let's see if he can make the magic happen again mp is planted but atomic dog catching him with the angle around the corner round on the board that's series for them so one more round and they'll be on series point not quite map point but Ooh, Crimson with the shotgun finds the first pick onto Rex everything as they try to get a quick play into this office and that's gonna It's gonna slow the attack down Pretty quickly put a halter in it a Couple of members taking control of the hatch Ripper rotating in as well. It's like they're going to oh, Work with some control of the orange staircase All four members now from DEFCON piling in here. Might see a bit of a fast drop. As we, as the spectators, know that there's just comms in the connector here to defend. Coda on the other side. I wonder. I wonder as you're seeing three members rotate around. What is this play? They're going to hit both the hatches at the same time. Other hatch gets blown. Three members looking into the war room hatch. Going to find a lot of damage on Dakota, but not quite finding it. Blender's going to push in and get aggressive. Oh, we're walking right past him in the toilet. And now it's Ripper looking to trade it out. But Crimson from behind with the shotgun. They run right by Crimson. Atomic Dog finally trades him out, but it's all down to Atomic Dog. Doing a little dance. It's going to have to be another ace from him. We've seen him do it before. First kill in the bag. Have to be the one v five ace clutch, the most glorious and prestigious of medals to earn, especially in a competitive match like this one. Final round of the half. 
minute left on the clock. As the clock winds down, Comic Dog's gonna have to make something happen. There is zero value in saving here. So you throw what you got. I shouldn't say zero value. It does give your team a, ch a chance to kind of have a mental reset, talk things over, get your mind right for the second half. So perhaps that's why. But we are going to see the push in and just an immediate firing squad waiting for him as Toms ends up picking up the kill. Absolutely. To Rainfall's advantage there as well. We're going to see the push coming in. All five members for Rainfall here. Crimson leading the charge, hands in the air like he just don't care. Quickly taking control of this museum side. Looks like we're going to see a bit of a hatch play. Bombs charging forward with that active camo. There is no roam on the top floor. This is going to be the hatch. Directly on to A. Third day with that breaching foam. Got to rotate back in. Who is here to defend? Quick drop. And the fight comes in. And the trades are crazy back and forth for both teams. And it's just Atomic Dog here. And a one versus three. And I finally caught a mid-round replay of some sweet action. That's what I'm talking about. Defcon really hoping Atomic Dog can make some magic happen here in a 1v3. Look at how disciplined Rainfall's playing this. Just not giving him an inch. You want it? Come and get it. Finding the headshot on the comms. Opens up the round. He has a syringe. Finding the reload. Got to use that syringe now, Atomic Dog. Use that syringe. Looks like he says, I don't need it. 36 points of health is plenty. He finds the headshot onto the cracker. Oh, if only, if only. I'm sure Defcon not quite loving it right now, but nothing they can do but stay strong. Oh, perfect position from Atomic Bug, but immediately headshot. Blender is also here as the drop comes in. They all vault in and Coda finds two to open up the round. They're trying to close the series out right now. Five versus three. And the wall spam from the cracker catches Rex everything. It's all down to Budgie and Reaper. Push comes in, they take control of the A. The repeat comes in, the shotgun is there. Finds one. Budgie with the repeat. For a second, two versus four now. They are not aware of his position. He is gonna find the second in comms and that's the bomb down. Now it's all down to Ripper, and he's not going to be able to do it. And that's the series and the map going over to Rainfall.